The web browser of choice for a lot of iPhone and iPad users is Safari. Provided as the stock web browser on iOS, it has been a staple of the iPhone since its release in 2007. Here's 10 tips you may not know Safari is capable of. Let's get started. Ad blockers are already popular on desktops, hiding everything from adverts to Star Wars spoilers. But did you know you can do this on your iPhone and iPad? Head to the App Store and search Content Blocker. Once you've downloaded a content blocker or two, go to Settings, scroll down to Safari and choose Content Blockers and enable the blockers you need. This also makes it easy to temporarily disable certain blockers if, for some reason, you want to spoil your favourite upcoming films. A lot of websites, including our own, now feature infinite scrolling, saving time from loading numerous pages of a website. As great as this is, you may just want to get back up to the top of the page to navigate a menu. Instead of scrolling for miles, simply tap the clock on the top of the screen to zip back to the top of the page. If you're anything like my fiance, you like to shop. A lot. Well, save yourself some time by adding your credit card to Safari, so you don't have to manually fill it in every time you check out. Within the settings app, navigate to Safari, autofill and saved credit cards. There, you can add your credit card by typing it in or simply by scanning your card. As of iOS 9.2, Safari has a built-in smart search feature that analyzes what you type to try and find suggested websites, commonly searched terms on Google, and also acts as a find in page feature, searching for the terms you entered within the page you are currently on. Maybe you let your tabs build up, never closing them until you've got hundreds open. I'm not judging, but what if when you're closing all of those tabs, you accidentally close one that you actually needed? Don't panic, you can view your recently closed tabs by clicking on the tab icon, then holding the plus icon. This will then bring up a list of your recently closed tabs. Simply tap on one you want and Safari will take you straight back. Save some of your expensive 4G data by saving web pages to your reading list. Doing so allows you to read an article later without the need to be connected to the internet. Click and hold on a link and tap add to reading list or tap the share icon at the bottom of the screen. To find these articles later on, tap on the history book icon, then the reading list tab which is conveyed by the Steve Jobs-esque glasses. Forgotten your Facebook and Twitter passwords? Before you go through the effort of resetting them, head over to the settings app and under Safari and passwords, which is protected by Touch ID or your passcode, you'll find a list of your all the saved passwords which have been stored on Safari. If you've gone and bought your children an iPhone or iPad, keep them safe from certain websites by restricting them. Go to Settings, General, and then Restrictions. If it's not selected already, tap Enable Restrictions and choose Websites. You can then change the settings to restrict them from specific websites or choose only the sites you want them to have access to. Safari maximizes the space for web pages on your iOS device by automatically hiding the toolbar and address bar once you've started scrolling. To reveal them once again, just tap on the bottom of the page. Last on my list is one that seems obvious, but is one I think a lot of people forget. Just as you do with photos to swipe between them, you can swipe left and right to swipe forward and back between web pages. As the toolbar isn't always showing, this seems like a much easier way to go back a page. Well, that's my top 10 iOS Safari tips. But let me know in the comments down below if you've got any tips that I might not know. If you found this video useful, help me out and hit that like button. And if you haven't already, Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a single video from Cult of Mac. I'll see you next time.